What's up, what's up, it's your boy, this is Ace Live, and today I'm finally gonna show you my old quarter uh, studio I was staying in for one month, okay? I'm actually walking a distance from the train street, literally across the street from there, and I'm like five, six minutes walk to the nightlife in the old quarter area, all right? Now, if you're watching this, you're either my subscriber and you're curious where I was staying, or you're, you're moving to Hanoi, and so you're trying to find out some tips on how to find a place. So watch this video to the end. I'm gonna give you some tips. Without further ado, let's begin from the beginning of my place from the front door. Let me flip the camera around so you can see how this place looks. I'm kind of in a rush. I need to catch a train, all right? So first things you do, you see this. This is how you walk into the place, all right? I want you to understand, guys, there are so many different cheap options in Hanoi to find, but it all depends on your needs in the location you want to be in. All right, I paid 350 to stay in this place. I want you to know I could have gotten a bigger place, a more modern place in Hanoi for around the same price. The reason why I'm, I, I chose to stay here was because of work purposes. So you got your couch right here. And this is basically what I would work at. And that's my little mini fridge. I left some stuff there for the staff. If they want it or whoever moves in, they can get the Coke and stuff like, pretty much cold. cold. They have a, a, a good AC, so I really appreciate that. This particular bed right here, guys, is really good. Yes. Yes, if you want to know, I used it. I slept on there all the time. That's my phone making noise telling me, hey, don't miss your flight. All right, so I got to keep this, this hurry up on this, all right? Okay, so it, like I said, this is like a studio apartment. So let's go in the kitchen. This is your kitchen, very old-fashioned kitchen, all right? Now, I went and when I was looking for a place in Tejo, I found places Americanized kitchen. All right, very Americanized, but this was functional. And I wanted a place with a kitchen, to be honest, I only used the stove one time. So, you know, like I said, it all depends on your needs, if you need a kitchen. Maybe more so, I needed a refrigerator. And as you can see, the kitchen's right next to the bathroom, guys. Check that out, right? So it's more of a bachelor part, a pad, if anything, because look, <laughs> that is all like, okay. <laughs> What do you, you do now, all right? And so, this is pretty much was my shower, okay? This is how I shower and use the restroom, okay? This sink double as a, a regular sink and a shower, all right? It's connected to this, this wire is connected to this right here, and it comes and you turn it to the side and there's a lot of hot water. It's really good, all right? Now, it looks kind of faded, before I, you know, I really settled in, I did a scrub, these things will come out. It's a, the old quarter. It's a lot of old buildings here, man. So it was functional for me, it worked. Hey, you know what I mean? Let me show you something else that's interesting. All right. Now I'm positioned in the back of the, the building. This building has five floors. And check this out, that's my phone, guys. Let me turn this light on. This right here, this room right here. This room right here actually is connected to other rooms. Let me show you, let's pan up if I can. This goes all the way, that's the second floor, and then the third floor all the way to the top, right? Goes all the way to the top, so if someone needs to smoke, right? This doubles as a smoking area for people that have, you know, a seating area, but I don't smoke. But it was interesting to have that there. Let me turn this light off. All right. And this right here was just a little closet area. I didn't really put anything in there. You know what I mean? I had, I kept everything in my suitcase back and forth. Things that you get with the price. All right. You get house cleaning, right? They come twice a week. Um, you get the Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi was really good, especially when it was time for me to upload 4K video. The fastest I've seen thus far, really fast. Um, and they have staffing outside. Let me show you the staffing because I am leaving, okay? This is the entry. Okay, this is the front. 
this is how the front looks to get into this place. This is the main entrance. I chose the first floor because I didn't want to walk up and down narrow stairs. They didn't have an elevator and I didn't want to walk down narrow stairs. And all these different tour companies here. So the staff here, there's a staff here. At a particular time they're here and they can give you some good advice if you want to go on a tour. Um, if you want to go to a particular place in Old Port, they have a, a lot of knowledge. So, and they're very nice to talk to. Very pro professional staff. Uh, I'm gonna miss those guys. So if they see this video, hey, I miss you guys. Thank you for uh, all the help you gave me while I was staying here and driving you guys nuts. All right, guys, let me get to the train station and I'll finish the review from there, okay? All right, guys, now that I'm on the train, I'm gonna give you some advice you should use should you be looking for an apartment in Hanoi or anywhere in Vietnam. How to find an apartment in Vietnam, all right? I wanna help you guys out, all right? I was in Hanoi for one month and before I got there, I got a lot of tips from someone who was living here for two years. I was in Mexico and she was giving me all the advice in the world. She was telling me to go on Facebook, all right? You go on Facebook, there are a lot of different apartment groups, right, that you can find. Just type in Hanoi Apartments, Hanoi Rental Apartments, and you'll find several different groups and get in every single one of them and post your budget and what your needs are, okay? So make sure you are particular with what your needs are, okay? If you're gonna be there for one month, because some of these places need a lease of six months to be signed, all right? But then there are some places that you can find for one month. So just put your, your, your price up. Normally you can find an apartment, right? A studio apartment, right? Upgrading everything around $250, okay? $250, you can find one. If you're coming to Hanoi, you might wanna stay in the Tejo area, all right? Now here's the difference between the Tejo area and the Old Quarter area. There's so many different options of where you can stay, all right? You can stay in the Old Quarter area, or you can stay outside the Old Quarter area, or you can stay in the Tejo hip area, okay? Now my options were to stay in the Tejo area or the Old Quarter area, all right? And I went for the Old Quarter area because I knew I was gonna be doing a lot more filming there and I didn't wanna worry about transportation getting to the place. I'd rather be in the place, wake up, and walk outside and I'm already in the area I wanted to be. And because of that, I did sacrifice on the different type of quality of room I could have gotten. There was one where it was a complete apartment, okay? Not a studio, a complete apartment going for $50 more than where I was staying. So I chose Oak Quarter because I didn't want to take transportation, right? Now, if you are coming here and you're gonna be here for more of a permanent time, and you want a mix of both areas, I say go to the Tejo area. It's not that far, you know what I mean? If you're gonna be staying here long enough, you, you might probably get a motor, motor, and if you get a motor, you, it's easy to get anywhere, all right? And, it, and if you if you want, you can go ahead and pay, or get a grab, and with a grab, you can pay $1, $2, or $3, and it'll bring you to the other side of town, literally, <laughs> you know? And so you do have your options, all right? Now the place I was staying, I didn't find it on Facebook. I ended up going on Airbnb and I saw there was a place and I, I figured out the location based on where it was and I ended up going there and working out a deal underneath, all right? It's important to know if you are going to do that, do not contact the owner on Airbnb because he can get in trouble for that. So maybe you can work things out where you figure it out. There are other options like just staying in the Old Quarter Hotel area, okay? Depending on how long you're gonna be there, it might be cost efficient just to get a regular room there or stay in the hostel area. It all depends on what your needs are, okay? But there's one thing I want you to understand, right? Whatever you choose, right? Do not send any money to anybody until you see the place. You gotta see it in person, all right? You have to establish that that person has ownership of the places all right now i did see a couple of apartments and all of them were interesting but they had weird requirements one of the places i went the the girl she's like yeah i'm gonna be gone this is my apartment but i'm gonna be gone for one month you pay me um this amount four hundred dollars plus at a deposit of four hundred dollars and you, you're good to go and i was like well i don't you know she, she wasn't able to really prove that she owned the place. I could be giving her 400 bucks and 
she comes back or she disappears. I don't know who, where she's at. Then you have another option, right? There was another option where I could have uh, sat in another place, right? The people had a lease and it was ending, all right? Now, as long as they can prove that they stay there and they have paperwork, then you're, you're good, okay? And it's totally fine. These people do it all the time and it might work out for you, okay? The only reason why I didn't take these places is it, would, it was going to be far from where I'm staying. Anyways, I hope this was some form of information to you. Good luck on your search to finding your dream apartment in Vietnam, all right? But remember, don't send nobody no money, okay? You got to see it in person, and you got to establish that the person owns the place. All right, see you in the next one. Yo.